Today we're doing a short video on measuring voltages with a multimeter. Auto ranging meters usually just have one voltage setting, but you can switch it between DC and AC and uh, setting it to voltage also turns this one on. For the non-auto ranging meter, we need to set it to a voltage higher than we can expect to measure and hit the uh, power button in this case, and it is set for DC. We can switch it to AC if we want, but we're going to measure DC in this video. The black probe almost always goes to calm with multimeters. The red probe you want to make sure you put in the right spot. So we got voltage there. We only move it there for high current. And this meter has another slot, but we're just worried about voltage. Again, we got V there for the red probe and the uh, comm for the black probe. I took this alkaline battery out of this multimeter because it was showing a steady low battery voltage. Now we can uh, measure the voltage. So this is the black terminal, or the uh, negative terminal I should say. Black probe goes there and the red probe goes to the positive terminal. So you can see it's about uh, 7.4 uh, volts. Being an alkaline battery, it started off about 9.5 volts. But I'm not going to buy a new battery in this video uh, to measure it. So you can see positive, negative there, and uh, the 9 volts. Here is a lithium ion rechargeable battery. So even though it says 9 volts, it's actually two lithium ion cells connected in series. Their voltages add up so that you can charge it to 8.4 volts. You don't want to exceed that for this type of battery. I just took this battery off of uh, this charger here and it was uh, plugged in a little bit ago. There you can see we got a little bit more than 8.4 volts. Uh, unless this is a little bit inaccurate. That's a little higher than we want. Hopefully it'll be okay though. Some hours ago, I took uh, this battery off of the uh, charger here and my other meter was showing a lower battery. If we connect it backwards, we will just get a negative voltage. That won't hurt anything. Okay, so this meter is a little bit higher than the other one. But in any case, that one has been sitting out, not being charged for longer than this one. Its voltage uh, drifts down a little bit because it's a uh, lithium ion, but then it gets steady at that point. So now normally these days circuits are uh, powered with a uh, power supply. So it comes from the alternating current to the house. You got basically unlimited power at a set voltage. That doesn't change much. So now of course we can use the multimeter to see how much of that voltage is actually making it to the circuit. So there you can see these are the alligator clips that come out of the uh, power supply there you can see that it doesn't look like it's uh, quite uh, 5 volts maybe we're losing a little bit along the way we will come to where the circuit is and you can see that uh, it went down just a little bit more because each time we make a connection it's dropping a little bit of voltage just as important as the uh, voltage powering the circuit which we just looked at there is the voltage across the components of the circuit so red LEDs drop about uh, 2 volts as you can see there it's got 2 volts across it it dropped that voltage from the resistor and there you can see we got the rest of that 5 volts across the resistor about uh, 3 volts now I swap the uh, red LED for the blue LED and the power supply is the same right there so it's 5 volts but we're losing a little bit through uh, the connections there now we come to the blue LED it has a forward voltage of about uh, 3 volts that's uh, pretty common there so you can see we built up 3 volts across it which it drops from the resistor now the resistor is only going to have about 2 volts across it so when you're learning about uh, voltages in circuits it helps a lot to actually take measurements of those voltage with the multimeter so now measuring voltages is really safe. All the meter wants to do is look at the voltage. Doesn't let any current through it or anything. Doesn't really affect anything. But uh, one thing you could do with the probe is accidentally touch both sides of a component with the probe and short circuit. So no currents going through the LED. It's all going through the resistor. You can see that it gave us 20 milliamps of current because that's what I limited it to. The resistor would let more uh, go through it if I didn't limit it. So that's one reason why I limit current with the uh, power supply. But otherwise, measuring voltages is really safe. Just gotta be careful you don't uh, short circuit things.